What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shets React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American Reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road, road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> What does the French Revolution have to do with the time NASA accidentally crashed a $200 million orbiter into the surface of Mars? What? Actually, everything. That crash happened due to an error in converting between two measurement systems, U.S. customary units and their SI or metric equivalents. So what's the connection to the French Revolution? Let's explain. For the majority of recorded human history, units like the weight of a grain or the length of a hand weren't exact and varied from place to place. And different regions didn't just use varying measurements, they had completely different number systems as well. By the late Middle Ages, the Hindu-Arabic decimal system mostly replaced Roman numerals and fractions in Europe. But efforts by scholars like John Wilkins to promote standard decimal-based measures were less successful. With a quarter million different units in France alone, any widespread change would require massive disruption. And in 1789, that disruption came. The leaders of the French Revolution didn't just overthrow the monarchy. They sought to completely transform society according to the rational principles of the Enlightenment. When the new government took power, the Academy of Sciences convened to reform the system of measurements. Old standards based on arbitrary authority or local traditions were replaced with mathematical and natural relationships. For example, the meter from the Greek word for measure was defined as one ten millionth between the equator and North Pole. And the new metric system was, in the words of the Marquis de Condorcet, for all people, for all time. Standardizing measurements had political advantages for the revolutionaries as well. Nobles could no longer manipulate local units to extract more rent from commoners, while the government could collect taxes more efficiently. And switching to a new Republican calendar with 10-day weeks reduced church power by eliminating Sundays. Adoption of this new system wasn't easy. In fact, it was a bit of a mess. At first, people used new units alongside old ones, and the Republican calendar was eventually abandoned. When Napoleon Bonaparte took power, he allowed small businesses to use traditional measurements, redefined in metric terms. But the metric system remained standard for formal use, and it spread across the continent along with France's borders. While Napoleon's empire lasted eight years, its legacy endured far longer. Some European countries reverted to old measurements upon independence. Others realized the value of standardization in an age of international trade. After Portugal and the Netherlands switched to metric voluntarily, other nations followed, with colonial empires spreading the system around the world. As France's main rival, Britain had resisted revolutionary ideas and retained its traditional units. But over the next two centuries, the British Empire slowly transitioned, first approving the metric system as an optional alternative before gradually making it official. However, this switch came Hold too up. late for 13... Hold up, wait a minute. Because y'all be trying to get on us about our metric system, talking about y'all y'all so behind. It took y'all a while to change to. <laughs> <laughs> y'all always picking on us. I'm going to pick on y'all too. Hey, it's... Oof, Lord, hey, this could get a little confusing too, right. though. I mean, at one point, it must have been doing really good. Everybody mm -hmm. else started doing it. Not everybody, but... It was spreading. The word was getting right. around. Where was getting around? Right. Yeah. I don't know. To me, I mean, it's easy to say what you are used to is easy, mm -hmm. easier. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Teen former colonies that had already gained independence. The United States of America stuck with the English units of its colonial past, and today remains one of only three countries which haven't fully embraced the metric system. Despite constant initiatives for metrication, many Americans consider units like feet and pounds more intuitive. 
And ironically, some regard the once revolutionary metric system as a symbol of global conformity. Nevertheless, the metric system is almost universally used in science and medicine, and it continues to evolve according to its original principles. For a long time, standard units were actually defined by carefully maintained physical prototypes. But thanks to improving technology and precision, these objects with limited access and unreliable longevity are now being replaced with standards based on universal constants, like the speed of light. Consistent measurements are such an integral part of our daily lives that it's hard to appreciate what a major accomplishment for humanity they've been. And just as it arose from a political revolution, the metric system remains crucial for the scientific revolutions to come. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like um, if, you know, people around the world with the science is at hand, I feel like everybody else going to eventually want to get on board because... You know what I'm saying? Like with Everybody science involved. Not them. not the US, not our country. Well they say and other locations as well. And medicine and scientific reasons. Ooh, Lord, y'all thought the math was hard whenever we had got that big change? Imagine they start doing the metrics, nigga. Oh, oh. Our parents Hello. would have an uproar in the States. Man. Oh, oh. Yeah, that yeah. would be different. That would be different. Yeah. Y'all think we'll ever change? No, nah, I've been a long time coming. Yeah. I don't think they're gonna Nah. I don't think they're going to do it. And you know, the United States is about individualism. So yeah, 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 true, yeah. true, true. I mean, true. it's it's weird knowing that we're doing something that's ancient. <laughs> I think, I think, pounds, I think um, other locations probably do, you know, ad ad adopt a little when it comes to this. Like, maybe up there, in, like in these big science labs. They say in the science labs, like, everybody. Yeah, in the universal. science labs, everybody's, you know what I'm saying? So it could be there. It's just more us so. regular folk that. Yeah. They use things differently. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, this was a little cool history lesson. That we facts. see why y'all brought it in. But I mean, y'all want us to change? Like us? <laughs> nah, I don't know. I, was, mm -mm. I yeah. like my measurements how they are. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah, but we, we like learning other things. Like we convert it sometimes. You know, we just haven't memorized the rules. You guys brought it to our attention in the comic session before. To let yeah, us know. Because y'all had to help us understand when we first got introduced to it. About how y'all measurements are compared to ours. So. Right, right. So we, we like, you know, we convert the meters and what's the other one? Is the meters the miles? Meters the miles? Yeah, I think something like that. We convert it sure. sometimes. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like support the channel that way. As well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.